Hey, it's your boy Crypto Expat back with another video. In this video, I'm going to showcase a or potentially a undiscovered gem. This could have massive gains in the next few months. So you're, you're getting this one early. I'm going to give you my my thoughts on where this coin can go at the end of the video. So let's get right into it. Intro. Alright guys, so the token I'm going to talk about today is called Tornado Core or T Core. Alright, and this one is a micro cap. Okay, it's 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 a micro cap. It's got such a small market cap and it could explode. So we're gonna get into this. Obviously, once you watch this, you need to do some more research. This is not financial advice. Okay, so before we go there, let's just uh, announce the Litecoin winner for the last video. So th thanks everyone for commenting. We had a bunch of comments, 57 comments, so which is awesome. So let's give away $10 worth of Litecoin right now. So the answer was, what was the ICO that we got into the previous day? And that was Berry. So you had to put Berry and also your Litecoin address. So good luck, guys. Okay, so Elario Commodity. You did have Berry, but you did not put your Litecoin address. Okay, so you, you don't win. All right, so sometimes people just copy other comments and they just put the comment, but they don't actually watch the video and find out what they have to do. So, unfortunately, I have to go to the next person. And we're coming to Cindy French. Congratulations. Yes, the answer is Barry. And this is your Litecoin address. So, I'll be sending you $10 worth of Litecoin as soon as I finish the video. Okay, so Tornado Call. Basically, what this is, is a fork or a copy of c vault or core all right you may know about core so if you're into core if you're uh, know about this project okay you'll know about tornado uh, core because it's basically the same thing but it's got a few little different bells and whistles okay so you might want to look at this one closely to potentially invest in obviously do some more research so tornado core the price is only 144 dollars and 97 cents it's up six percent today it's got a maximum supply uh, this is actually six thousand two hundred fifty it's not seven thousand and the my uh, the cap is only eight hundred and sixty one thousand five hundred fifty one so it's it's not even a million dollars yet it's so micro crap micro cap it's uh ridiculous all right so let's just go and have a look at the, the um, project and talk a little bit more about what it does. So when you come to the website, you'll see this. So this is, uh, the website here is on Ethereum. However, I'm not going to talk about Ethereum. I'm going to talk about Binance Smart Chain. So you, as you come here and you see frequently asked questions, and to the right of that, it'll say switch to Binance Smart Chain. Okay, so we're going to click on that. The whole website changes. Now we've got the Binance Smart Chain version. So forget about all those high fees. Now you can do this on Binance Smart Chain. Now, I believe that both of these different chains, they're not connected. So I believe that there's 6,250 on Binance uh, uh, Smart Chain and 6,250 coins on Ethereum. Okay. And if you buy on Ethereum, it doesn't subtract it from Binance Smart Chain. Okay, so that's that's how I believe that works, all right? However, um, this is the website that you'll see. It's very Windows 93-ish, 95, if you wanna call it. Um, and this is typical for these uh, types of uh, DeFi jobs. Okay, so here it's got ST Core. So let's just quickly talk about um, what it does. If we go and have a look at the docs here, it basically says Tcore is a non-inflationary cryptocurrency based off Cvault Core source code that is designed to execute profit-generating strategies autonomously with completely decentralized approach. Okay, so pretty much a copy of Core. 
Tornado Finance allows users to yield farm T Core by providing LP tokens. In order to participate to T uh, Core deflationary farming and thus receive yield paid as T Core, the user requires to obtain a Uniswap v uh, version 2 LP token on Etherscan or on Bakery uh, BLP tokens on Binance Smart Chain and stake them on the Tornado Finance under Vault tab. Okay, so pretty much the same thing, you know, you get the two pairs, whether it's T Core and Ethereum on Uniswap or T Core and BNB on Bakery Swap, and get the LP uh, and then stake it on T Core. So the liquidity generation events have already happened, um, so we won't, we'll pass that. So this is the T Core router. The main functions of the router are liquidity zap, swap, wrap, arbitrage. Um, which is the, we'll talk about the zap in a second, so it's pretty cool. Again, well, let's just go look at the uh, tokenomics. All right, 6,250, so very, very, very low supply, okay, very low supply. And uh, it says here, T Core using a non inflationary farming process by attaching a 2% fee to the transfer of T Core token, and this allows stakers to earn yield without protocol having to mint new tokens. So, very similar to Core again, you know, it, they encourage you to stake your coins. Let's go back to the website. So, this is how it works, okay? It says here, this is where basically you stake your LP tokens, okay? Now keep in mind that once you stake your LP tokens, it's just like it's just like core. You cannot withdraw them. They're forever locked in the protocol, and you can only ever earn yield from uh, the trading like the fees. Okay, this is the fees from either Uniswap or Bakery Swap. So it's here, T Core Vaults earn their APY from 2% fee from all the sell orders and transactions made on T-Core. This includes the whole trading volume of bakery swap and any transaction on the blockchain. So that's how we're, this is where the revenue is coming from. APY is dynamic and is very uh, with the LP value, the amount of LP staked in the vault, BNB price, T-Core price and trading volume. The more people that are trading, the more profit T-Core vault receives. To share amongst its stake stakers so this is where you actually come in and you go stake here okay so uh we won't we won't do that yet this is how you actually buy it um all you do here is you come along and you click on this now i'm on the uh binance smart chain version okay and then you just come here and you just click get code so if we just open that up or, or get t i mean and what this what this is going to do is it's going to take you to bakery swap okay so just obviously connect up to with using MetaMask and uh, whatever wallet you're using. Most people use MetaMask, obviously make sure you're on Binance Smart Chain. And then swap your BNB for this uh, feature, uh, you know, uh, T Core, okay? So how do you get the T Core? Because sometimes it'll probably, most likely it won't be entered into your, uh, into your address, into your wallet already, okay? So you gotta add it. So you just come along here and down the bottom it says contract. You just right click on this and open up the contract. So this will be the this will be the same for Ethereum as well. Get the contract. This is the Binance Smart con Smart contract for uh, T Core, okay? BSC. So once I got that, I copy this, and then I go back to Bakery Swap, select token, and then I just paste the contract here, okay? And then it's going to show me T Core. Now I've already added it for you. It'll just say add. So once you use that, then you can swap and um, now, if you're going to buy it, you can just buy the token and just hodl. That's what I actually recommend. I don't actually recommend that you provide liquidity. But if you want to provide liquidity and just get to the fees and just, you know, get the fees forever, just, you're going to need 50-50, all right? So you're going to need 50 B, uh, BNB and 50 T Core. So if you, say, if you've got one BNB, you're probably going to need, say, 0 0.48 uh, worth of uh, BNB to T Core, and then you'll have 0 0.48 left, and you're gonna need probably 0 0.02 for the fees, all right? So that's if you have one BNB. 50-50 pretty much, okay? So then once you got that, then obviously you um, provide liquidity by, uh, you can actually use this feature here, which is pretty cool. So if we go to this T Core Zap, all right, you can actually, this is another way of doing it. What it'll do is it'll convert your BNB, 
straight into the LP token. So just the step that I just showed you before, where you had to buy 50-50, you won't have to do that. And that's that's provided that you want to, you know, you actually provide liquidity, okay? So you come along here, you would just put, say, one BNB or whatever, make sure you have enough for gas, and then you'll get this 3.963877, whatever, uh, LP token, okay? And it'll just automatically do the conversion in the one uh, press of a button. So it'll zap BNB to LP, which is pretty awesome, okay? And then once you've got that LP, it'll show up in your wallet, okay, in your MetaMask wallet. Then after that, you can just go to C Vault and just go stake, okay? Now, um, I don't reckon, like, like what I'm saying is, if you want to stake it, you can. I'm not staking mine because I've already got uh, T-Core. So um, I'm actually not just staking. I'm just buying the coin to hold it. And then once it goes up, I want to take profits. Okay, so keep in mind too, when you stake your LP, you cannot withdraw it ever again. It's stuck there forever. So you can do either, whatever you want. Then you got this uh, DAI T pool, which is basically the same. Okay, you can deposit DAI here. And again, it's locked in forever, all right? So you won't be able to withdraw it out again. By staking DAI token in a T core pool, you will simultaneously be earning and providing by pressure, buy pressure while enjoying minimal risk exposure and permanent loss. When you stake your tokens in the T-Core pool, you earn T-Core. Also, you can check out the developer. So this is the developer, Pierre Bur Bernou, and he's got um, a like an address, web address, or Twitter. So let's just go check him out on Twitter. Okay, so there it is there. And he's the uh, T-Core dev founder, blockchain dev. And you can see him uh, talking about uh, T-Core there. Okay, so th this guy um, publicly out there, uh, obviously you have to do some more research whether he's actually a real person because someone can just put a fake photo there, okay? You can check him out on a LinkedIn or the web. So do some more research there, obviously. Don't just take this as a grain of salt. Also, when I look at GitHub, there's, not, there's only one repository there's not a lot of development that's happened. Just this was done like two days ago. Okay, so um, not a lot there. I will say that. And if we have a look at the roadmap, this is also worth reading. This is basically the roadmap here. We're in Q1 here. Okay, multi-sig imp implementation, the marketing strategy implementation, light paper release, updates, site, uh, deploy T core, uh, RFI pair, open balance of pool stakers, NFT airdrop. NFC auction and so forth. So this is Q2, white paper release, staking pools, integration with partnership with, with pools to, to be determined, um, improvements on website, uh, UI and UX, uh, and project announcement, upcoming project that will benefit T core holders. And then Q3, all right. So worth having a read as well on the medium um, to see what's coming up. What are my thoughts on it? Where do I think this could go? Uh, obviously, this is a high risk. All right, so you know, um, you know, this could be a fake profile. Um, this could be not the real person that could just do a rug. Um, you know, these are these are the risks. All right, we just don't know. This could just be you know all fake, and they could just be set up for a rug. Uh, however, I don't think that going to be the case at this point in time. There's already quite a bit of money here like you know 861,000 oh well that's not really a lot but still still a bit of cash there they could do a rug on that live happily ever after the thing with this is it's still very very early then there's such a low supply now if we compare this with Seavol which is basically what it's forked from it's got a 55 million market cap and seavol has got 10,000 tokens Whereas this has only got 6,250 on Binance Smart Chain or Ethereum, both on each chain. With that said, because it's such a low cap, all right, such a low cap that not many people know about this. Even if this went like a 20x, it'd still be 20 million. And 20 million in like a DeFi project like, like T-Core is really 
like that's not much at all you know C volts what 55 million so I think that this could do like this could easily get to 10 or 20 million very easily as soon as like a lot more a lot more youtubers start to cover this um, because they, they may not know about it right now but this could easily rocket to like 10 or 20 million so I'm saying that let's just say in a perfect world everything goes sweet and no um, they don't rug pull um, the dev keeps on working on the project goes to the roadmap more volume comes on this and then you know the market cap goes up and if we get to about 20 million this would push this price up to so it's 144 now if we went to 20 million we would go say 20x yeah I'm saying that this could probably go to about 20x conservatively because I was I always use conservative don't try to hyper anything that's kind of like where I see this going in the next couple of months we're at 144 dollars now 20x 2888 I think that's doable and again all the stars have to align and everything has to go right for that to happen all right so hidden hidden gem yes but could it rug yes is this high risk yes uh, do your own research before you invest anything okay but the beauty about it is you can either do it on ethereum pay the high gas fees or click here switch to finance smart chain and pay no fees let me know your thoughts guys is this a hidden gem or is this too risky for you comment below look forward to hearing your comments on this one thanks for watching i will be giving some more litecoin giveaways don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification we got plenty more coming thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video are you new to crypto and DeFi? you're not sure how to navigate to the scams and keep away from the sharks trying to steal your crypto this space can be very daunting for newbies that's why we created 100xcryptoacademy.com this is not just a course on DeFi, yield farming and investing but a real community of like-minded crypto enthusiasts who believe crypto is the key to financial freedom You'll get 50 plus HD on demand videos, ongoing research analysis and pre-screened, ICO and pre-sales, four weekly webinars per month with live Q&A, private access to our exclusive forum, and our vibrant Telegram group for live chat and updates. All for a low monthly investment. Check out our Patreon at 100xcryptoacademy.com.